Uh, okay, well, everyone... <laughs> Who wants that? to roll initiative? Fourteen. I mean, I really don't, but we're going to do It's initiative time. Let's dance. Eleven. Ooh, oh! Headshot is credit. Do it. Wait, wait. Bones is strong against something. Piercing. Remember that from last fight. So you're slashing a blunt force. Uh, I bones should get a hammer sometime. Blood. Right, so first up is Aiden. Yeah, boy. Next in the turn order is Levy. Then is Evil Aiden, as I'm calling him for the time being. Just oh, Aiden. Just Who's after that? It's uh, Ethril. Hi. Then it's uh, Evil Rowan. No, it's Araya before Evil Rowan. Then it's Awa Rowan. Try and climb onto the, the, the skeleton and try and rip its head off. Mm. It's probably not going to do much by doing that. I can try! <clears throat> but, um, right. Ryan, how did you bring up that turn order thing when we were doing Shadowrun? And uh, does the Coindan army factor into this at any point? You know, that thing that yeah. we spent an episode to raise? <laughs> yeah, both <laughs> armies go after... Both uh, armies? You know, their cannon guys on the walls. Okay, okay, good, good, good. good. And also, yeah, there's the a the tool yeah. for... Um... Okay. On the DM side to put up an initiative order thing. There you go. Yeah. Oh, that's easier. Because yeah. I was just typing yeah. it under before. Uh, how do I freaking. What? Uh, you right click each token done. and then add to whatever. Okay, thank you. Writer of kill lists. Okay, you can go. Ahead. So, what are you doing for your first turn, Jim? Um, well, from here. Yes. I've got a big scary chobad in front of me, but my, my bullets are kind of useless. <clears throat> How high up is that wall? 20 feet. 20 feet, so that'd be 60 foot shot. What do you say the penalty on a range increment is? Uh, minus 5. Minus 5. Oh no, sorry, for a gunslinger it's minus 2. Yeah, it's if you're hand throwing objects, <clears throat> it's minus. Ah, okay. Can I hit Aiden with that? No, no, you cannot. Of course, he's also a nimble and hard to hit. Yes. Well, uh, just gonna use my movement to back it up. Hey, Ryan, just back it up. Oh, hey, thank you. This actually helps me for my next turn. And yeah, I'll end my turn there, please. Levy's turn. Yep. Uh, what's the maximum range on that crossbow? It has it has range increments of thirty feet with the standard range weapon ranged increment rules. Right. One hundred and fifty feet. Then I'm definitely yeah. moving over here <laughs> as a move. It's a and... crossbow, not a howitzer. <laughs> yeah, for now. <laughs> Does the bipod not give like a extra range advantage? No. No. It's not a range thing. It's more of a stability thing. That's what I mean. Like, so wouldn't it help his aim? Bipod. <laughs> Shooting mm-hmm. upwards with a bipod? Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I, I'm also not suggesting that it's going to fucking wipe out 150 feet worth of the damage <laughs> panel. Here. But just uh, something uh, to uh, consider. Right, double moving up, and let's turn over. Not Aiden's turn. He is going to shoot at Araya. Fucking bring it, pussy lips. I ain't scared of you. Then you uh, you. Fuck your rolling for. Oh, I think I know what you might be rolling for. Oh boy, here we go. Wait, I why tried. is Levy rolling? Because you've uh, accidentally impersonated us. Okay, that should be fixed now. Uh, but yeah, that was evil Rowan. Uh, evil Sorry, Rowan. Sorry look, look, looks like looks like Levy to me. Might, might have to re-roll that one. <laughs> Don't be a pussy. It hit you. <laughs> I mean, unless you have an AC high of twenty-three. It's not my fault. <laughs> Not my fault you put it as love it. <laughs> hey, God, how tall is Ethril? I can't remember. I don't know. <laughs> the same height as Jim, so four foot four. Five foot five. Okay. Yeah, you can ask a question. Um, everybody's moved forward, but that didn't happen before combat. Or like. Well, I'm, I guess I'm specifically talking about Levy. When did you, when did Levy move? Just then, obviously. Uh, <laughs> Oh, oh, I see. That's fine. No, just because I'm, I'm, I'm on the way back and I wasn't sure like, if I could move forward, but I'll wait for my turn. It's fine. Okay, so 
You've just taken a nine damage bullet. Sorry, you rolled a nine to hit. Let's let you off damage. Alright. Alright, I'll let you off this once. Which arm? <laughs> he then reloads. And uh Aiden. The real one. Could you please roll me a will save? We'll because save. the undead Umbubi is looking at you and just going Mas. Oh, he's giving you the dirty eyes. That's uh, my wife! It's my husband now! <laughs> right, you are now spooked. It's too spooky for Aiden. So what's that doing to me? Uh, that is giving you a specific condition. That condition is... Uh, bur- bur- bur, just let me double spooked. check what it's called. So it's I'm not called spooked. You, right you are um, shaken now. Not stirred. <laughs> shaken. Uh, shaken character takes minus two penalties on all attack rolls, saving throws, skill checks, and ability checks. Is that like for one round or multiple? Uh, that's until you make another will save to pull yourself together. Oh, damn. Okay. So, uh, yeah, the fact that an undead version of your butler is currently eyeballing you has left you a bit. <laughs> Uh, Careless Whisper plays in the background. <laughs> Ethril. So we managed, we carried his body out, but his soul got left behind in the, in the city and someone found it. I mean, there's a giant skeleton over there. There's a, a undead butler and two evil beebs. And there's also people on cannons. What can I do with this? Yes. Any suggestions? I'm open because I have no idea. Not too sure about what to do here. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I could just sort of go more central because I'm so I'm more nearer the action. I want to be able to accomplish something at least, unlike all the other times I've just been running back and forth. I mean, we don't have the sort of damage type to deal with the skeleton, and everyone else has got a range penalty on. So there is no good option here, to be honest. Maybe thinking just full on sprint towards the wall because you're probably one of the best climbers in the. Okay. Is that within your movement allowance running? Not. <clears throat> 60 feet. So, and you've already moved 30 feet, haven't you? So another 30 would get you here. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe go there first? Hide, hide behind the giant woman. <laughs> Good idea. Rowan, protect. She protect and also she attacks. Araya, slayer of beasts. Back. Yeah, mm. I'm not. Sorry, I'm just discussing strategy with myself. Okay. You know, in pure blind panic at the insurmountable odds. But I'm not going to let my party know that. I'm also going to look into the rules about me using performance at my level that I'm at. Okie dokie. What level do bards get compelling performance at? Not yet. <laughs> Definitely not yet. Um, I just I was wondering if I had... I'm sure I had an AoE one, but I can't find it. Let's have a look. I thought I had one that was about 30 feet. And it was everyone within the thing. You shout, listen up, fuckwads, and everyone within 30 feet bursts into flames. I've got that as well, but I meant like a, a, an Inspire one. If uh, not, uh, is that an action? Is Inspire Courage an action? Bardic, uh, yes, it's an action. It's Bardic Performance, but you can sort of channel Bardic Performances. So starting it is a standard action. Yeah. Wait, didn't you have Snick cast Recall on you earlier? Yeah, yeah, but I've not taken enough damage yet. Uh, You've only taken 9, not 20. Yeah. Actually, so would, you like that? would you mind slapping me with that infinite ammo thingy? Just so I can start daiquiri. That, that, was, that was another plan, but I also wanted to get this minus 1 off of you first. Or minus 2 off of you. Yeah, that's a good plan. Uh, I can move and do a standard action, can't I? Or do a standard yeah. action then. Mm-hmm. Lads, I think I'm going to fucking pull the accordion out. <laughs> do, 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 the, do the one note. Do the fucking. <laughs> Sing as a song, you hear your accordion man. <laughs> Let me tell you a story, 32 verses long, about a woman who died and died out along. And I'm gonna fucking inspire competence on Aiden, which I think gives him a plus one on any attack rolls. And I believe also. Let me read it. Oh no, inspire courage, sorry, not competence. 
So he must be able to perceive the performance. An affected ally receives a plus one morale bonus on saving throws against charm and fear effect. So that'll help his will save. And a plus one competence bonus on attack and weapon damage rolls. And whilst I'm walking away, his French accordion song, uh, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, uh, let me see, I don't trust that. No. Curse my tiny legs. Yeah, I'm actually going to move there. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to stand here whilst I'm still just fucking jamming out. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, next up in the turn order, uh, Ambiguously Rowan. Uh, Ambiguously Rowan starts running and vanishes up this way into the fog of war. Concern. Meanwhile, the uh, Shobad skeleton is going to charge Aiden. Damn, it's too it's far right. away. Bring it on, Bones! That does not even come close to hitting you. Nope. Fortunately, it has multiple arms. Of course. That still nope. doesn't do anything, I don't think. <laughs> As a free action, I'd like to go, what a fucking ham! <laughs> Everybody but me gets to do the two-weapon fighting. I mean, you could spec into two-weapon fighting. Yeah, I was supposed to be able to do it from the beginning. Because multi-arm means I have um, the ability to do that, but we haven't been yeah. counting that, so I'm just going to get the feet. Whatever, I don't care. Well, okay. Anyone, is it my turn yet? Uh, it's Taylor's turn, then it's your turn. Okay. I apologise that we've been missing that on your character. It's fine. It's a genuine error. We will consider it going forward. Uh, Taylor, what's the battle plan? Uh, at the moment, it's run as far as I can forwards. So, how okay. far would that be? Uh, <laughs> my whole turn running. Uh, that would be double your standard move distance then, I believe, unless running is even more than that. Uh, running by itself is three words of four round. Okay, so you can go three times your normal speed if you dedicate your full round to it. Could you... Maybe mark where that would be because I'm not I'm not sure how far. Uh, ninety feet is how far. There. You could just fucking bolt and end up there. Here, yeah. If you, where the end of my arrow is at the moment. Can beans go even mm -hmm. further? Not that he needs to, but can he? He could if he wanted to, yeah, because he's fly. You just fucking sight to be here. He's just. He's not He's Okay, now we're round to Rowan. What well up? I imbue my Battle Aspergillium with Disrupt Undead. That allows me to strike with the power of the Battle Aspergillium itself, with the holy water it's got in it, and with Disrupt Undead. Ow. Nice. Yeah, because two weapon fightings, you can thwack it with your shield after this for good measure. Little fucking, literal Ashbringer. <laughs> and a shield bash? And a shield bash, if you want to get one in. Two yeah, there, was, there was also a crit on Disrupt Undead, though. There was. Crit certain for the skeleton. Uh, yeah, this skeleton, let's see, how many hit points did it just lose? 10. Uh, crit damage, 6. 16. Cripes. Well, you just pretty much sheared two arms off this thing. Good! Yeah. Now you wear your suit, yeah. Not that he's ever gonna be good at using them. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So you just walked up behind it, swung the aspergillium down, and took off two of the bone arms on one side. The disrupt undead, meaning that it doesn't, it isn't able to just reattach them. It's nice, like, uh, guys. He's all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about that. Aiden, you're up. Oh, okay. Uh, well, seeing as how this is apparently a thing, but do I need to do a will save first to try and check the spookums? Yes. You've got plus one now. Plus one and a minus two, so it's a minus one overall, yeah? <laughs> yes. I'm still spooked. Yes, well, the fucking worst, Aaron Burr. It's been a long time servant. And now, a, and now a dead version of him is giving you the creeps. But it's what there. I do have... Oh, sorry. Before we got round to Aiden, it should have been the army. 
So uh, the army is going to fucking charge. Good. Yeah. Watch your step. Yeet out them. I mean, I think that shows wonders for our confidence that we forgot we had a 500 strong army behind us and we're just trying to fucking do this on our own. <laughs> Specifically, this is just the first wave coming in, but hey, it's still a lot. Mm-hmm. And then the cannon crews are going to open fire. Oh, great. This is where they're, they're about to start turning the cannons in. As, as a free action, can I put my arms out like in that fucking charm? Um, that... <laughs> like in the end of Platoon. <laughs> <laughs> just expecting a hit. I mean, actually, they're turning their cannons mostly towards the giant horde of fucking Kawinda. They're lying. Can... Scare them. Rawr. That one misses. That one also misses. Time to scatter some cannonballs. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Big guard, the cannons. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how, so how, the first... How big are cannonballs, and how heavy are they? Uh, uh, essentially, they take up a tile by themselves. Wow. What about the size of bowling the... balls, though? Right, so the They're first one is originate was aimed here, and it's going to scatter that way. And how many feet is it going to scatter? Four feet. Okay, so it lands in nowhere. These two guys are going to take minor splash damage from the impact. Oh! Minor. <laughs> I mean, yeah, <laughs> those guys have been hit by kicking up spray, and they've certainly got shrapnel wounds, but they're still good. You didn't like accidentally roll 3d6 yeah. there, did you? Oh! No, it's, um... It's it there we are. So, that one's heading somehow straight back towards the cannon. <laughs> this fucking put backspin on, we can fight against <laughs> Romeo or fucking Sullivan. Hey, <laughs> Yeah, that one that one just ends up landing like eight feet short of where it should have gone. <laughs> I like the idea of it landing and then sort of like spinning back like an iron destroyer. Is it like that scene in Space Jam where Bugs Bunny's under the golf course? <laughs> what do you mean it's fucking spinning backwards? <laughs> This is completely unrelated, but still amusing. I just got a notification from YouTube that someone had uploaded a video that's just titled, What Do You Want? (laughs) More of this, please. (laughs) So the cannon crews aren't having a good day. Oh, no. I literally moved out of the way here just to see if they could, like, maybe attack me instead. (laughs) Uh, Right, okay, we're now round to levy in the turn order, because eight... Wait, hang on, you failed to rub it off. You can still make a move back yeah. if you want, Aiden. Why, can I not make an attack? Oh, yeah, you can make an attack if you want to. Attack or remove. Because I do That's have some blunt damage to help either. from dealing with this guy. You're going to try and kneecap him with a pistol with. Yeah, go for it. So, I want to so, run, yeah. run away with his arms. Use them as clubs. Yeah. That's <laughs> one. one off from the buff. Beat him with his own arms. To... Should... If I was to do that, would it humiliate the skeleton? Yes. Bah. Oh my god. And it also Did I fumble? I, I, I dropped my fucking gun. Yeah. Uh, Just I mean, people. The oh, that, is, is, that is two ones in a row. That's two the natural ones. Is, so that, if it's, that's if it's... two natural ones in a game where I've already rolled another nat one. What the are you question saying, is, Lyman? is your gun broken? Or what is it at this point? It it's crit fumble. <laughs> Um, it, my gun is like misfire. always kind of broken. Yeah, it probably misfires as it drops. Like it's, 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 it's a buttstock hit. It's a pistol whip. Yeah. It's not like I'm firing it. It could miss okay, fire. I know exactly down, what I guess. Um, so <laughs> as you strike it with the butt, the critical fail is that one of your fingers was still inside the trigger guard. Ouch. Oh. Oh. As such, oh. it's not firing at you, but the barrel is discharging right next to your ear. You are now deaf. Temporarily, or...? Probably temporary, but for the time being, until I say otherwise, or until you get something to cure it, you are deaf. deaf. And just to prove I'm not munchkin and I'm trying to get you out of, like, dodging these rolls that you do accidentally to me, I'm guessing that also means he can no longer perceive my performance. Yes, this is correct. Helping! (laughs) Anything audible-based he can no longer hear until the... Until the ringing wears. Good thing I brought this fucking punch and Judy set. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, I have to mime. What did you say? I can't hear you. So someone needs to take that gun off of him. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I mean, just, just, just because I'm a gun enabler doesn't mean I have to do it. Alright, Junkrat, you're up. Alright. Yeah. Uh, time to perform walking fire. I move up 30 feet. And, um, by the by, what exactly is on these cannon towers? Uh, cannon. Three, three dudes. They're literally just like crude wooden platforms lashed to the walls an extra five feet up with cannons right. on them. Do they have the can supplies up there? Yes, yes, they do. Th this is where I start aiming for the gunpowder storage that's going to be up there. Oh, God. Because fire damage. You're yeah, fucking I mean, evil, I love it. <laughs> I mean, technically neutral, but yeah. <laughs> you are technically neutral. The best kind of neutral. Yep. I mean, I'm literally technically neutral because I'm lawful neutral, but yeah. I am I going to aim... Neutral. I'm going to aim a shot with the crossbow with a regular old bomb, no admixture, no nothing on it, and just plop it over by where the... Uh, the wonderful, uh, very much explosive gunpowder is stored. Oh, and since, boy. And since I'm not making an attack against a specific thing, I'm actually going to aim for the intersection of a square, which means it has AC5. It just deals the minimum flash damage in the area around it. So that's, you know, a maximum of, what, two, three range increments? Yeah. Yeah, that that's about it. Yeah, so what do we say for ranging room? That, what, minus four for the maximum? Yeah. All right, well, let's see if I can hit an AC5 with a minus four penalty. Oh, look, I can. This Ooh. is where the whole platform goes boom, isn't it? Yes. I mean, probably, considering the amount they need to propel a, <coughs> a fucking cannonball Multiple that size. Multiple shots of a cannon. Does it become yeah. man? <sighs> Rocket man! Rocket man! What bullets do I get to tackle Matthew like drunk crab? Um, there's only one way I can accurately illustrate this. I need to see. Oh my god, this is on fire. Yeah. Haha! I shall into a running ring of fire. Holy shit, can I actually make that what I play next on my accordion? Yes! <laughs> Where's your keyboard? Uh, we've got this sweet music on in the background, and I really didn't want to kill the vibe. Yeah, this music is sweet. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I like how this is just alchemy. Alchemy! Kaboom! <laughs> you didn't kaboom. That's what he's done. That's what it was <laughs> made for. <laughs> I don't suppose that rejig is here in. The explosion is so strong that the cannon itself just does a forward flip off the edge of the platform and the heavy iron tube smacks into the dirt. Uh, I'm going oh, to write that down. <clears throat> I'm going to write that down to inspire me when I make my magnum opus about the day that I became a war hero. Is it, um, <laughs> does it embed itself in the ground? Yeah, yeah, pretty much does. <laughs> and it's at this point, Aiden, the other Aiden, flinches away from the explosion and commences an orderly retreat as well. Oh my god, the cows. <laughs> I was gonna shoot him in the face. 